So the topic I am going to teach today is quantum field theory. So before I am going to start with the course, let me have a brief interlude of what quantum field theory is in its broad dimensions. So to you know in your earlier classes of quantum mechanics and quantum mechanics 1, quantum mechanics 2 which includes uh, uh, advanced quantum mechanics and some uh, and you, are, uh, you might have covered some of the topics of relatives to quantum mechanics. So quantum mechanics and relatives to quantum mechanics or advanced quantum mechanics. So in its higher manifestation or in its formal uh, manifestation is uh, compressed in a subject which is normally called quantum field theory. So quantum field theory is a formal structure or a theory in which we study the behavior of elementary particles not only at higher energies but as well as lower energies. So it's a grand uh, scheme in which uh, the fundamental forces of in which uh, we study not only quantum field theory as a formalism, we study uh, quantum mechanics, we study uh, electroweak theory, we study young Emil's uh, theory and in its uh, broader formalism, we also try to encompass uh, nature to the smallest and the smallest of the scales, which includes uh, QCD, quantum uh, QED and QCD together. So as such, uh, if we have a brief uh, history, uh, if you want to understand quantum mechanics, uh, how the subject uh, evolved, it has evolved in a very... Uh, I would say the trajectory has been a zigzag and uh, not in a very uh, clean and uh, linear fashion but uh, somehow right from uh, the way uh, you know the if you people have been aware of the history of uh, quantum mechanics how it has developed and in the same way quantum field theory also developed as a subject uh, maybe in 1940s uh, people like uh, Schwinger, people like uh, Dirac, people like uh, uh, Landau, they had some uh, problems uh, in uh, understanding quantum mechanics and there were certain uh, poles or divergences which came out uh, when they were uh, solving or extending the understanding of quantum mechanics at uh, energies higher than energies at certain uh, scale. So, how people uh, did away with those divergences or, so it's a good subject, people like Feynman, Schwinger, Tomonogam, these people have uh, dealt or addressed with these very issues in the program of uh, how we renormalize a uh, given quantum mechanical theory but uh, to pick to before i'm going to do that before we are going to do in the class uh, to discuss those very aspects so the difficulties of basically regularizing certain poles or certain, certain quantities which we are not finite uh, so so how we could regularize or how we could uh, make a theory finite so these were the basically uh, technical difficulties to maybe physicists like Lev Landau said that maybe quantum mechanics is well, dead quantum so you cannot really regularize these poles still people like Feynman and Schwinger and other people they came out with alternate uh, methods or methodology how we can regularize even though a lot of physicists like Dirac did not uh, agree to that very uh, procedure but somehow it worked so that's the point worked in some uh, in an empirical way we could calculate some uh, parameters uh, which are uh, which we can complete uh, calculate in a lab to certain or finite orders of uh, approximations so people physicists normally rather than going to so they if it worked so it is right so this is a brief uh, interlude how you the sort of technical difficulties of extending quantum mechanics at energies higher and higher what were the technical uh, difficulties and how people bypass them 
by inventing certain things and this is the way how we normally in the books you can see various books how quantum mechanics as a subject has evolved or uh, developed so i just uh, if you read uh, there is a good uh, uh, there is a good section of uh, steven weinberg's book uh, quantum field so there are many books so if you want to if steven weinberg has written a very good book quantum field field theory it's volume 1 2 and 3 maybe volume 1 uh, maybe more uh, relevant to our uh, uh, the topics i am going to discuss but if you start if you read the preface of volume 1 the first chapter of it maybe he he writes that if uh, some thing is not uh, uh, understood by quantum mechanics it is it is something like called catalysism or something like he uses the word and if something cannot be understood by quantum field theory it is a disaster it's a disaster so what do you so this is so for him quantum field the, as a theory it's so much a, a, a wide and broad and a subject that it should encompass all the microscopic uh, details or understandings of uh, the things we are having uh, so so people should read the historical development of quantum mechanics and quantum field theory it's also one of the into before uh, going through the top chapter so the reference for it is you read the first chapter of uh, quantum field theory of uh, steven weinberg which will give us flavor of why quantum field theory or there is a paper by this uh, t hooft t hooft has a it in a very good people what is quantum field theory and what did we think it was so this is a brief uh, discussion uh, what is quantum field theory and what it was so in the next uh, series of lectures which i intend to i intend to cover this course of quantum field theory starting from basics we i'll give 20 25 lectures we will i'll see how much uh, lectures how many lectures i'll try to give and in those lectures i will try to cover basic uh, quantum starting from quantum theory uh, scalar field theory klein gordon dirac field then interacting uh, the interacting uh, quantum field theory then path integral formulation and maybe some uh, brief uh, entry, entry into the subject of uh, renormalization and some ideas of wilson so this is the broad contour and in the next class i am going to discuss how i am going to uh, start the subject uh, ebinishu thanks